What is going on? In this one, we've got 911, Season 2, Episode 15. Let's go! I hope you like my song. Bye bye now. Have a great day. This is really just too much. Aww. Speech. No speech. <laughs> You've all been so wonderful over the years. We've weathered many storms together, including the scandal in our financial services division. It did not affect this branch in the least. Although my friends in corporate did not name me manager of the year at the retreat Ooh. of Costa Mesa, it was an honor to be nominated. Oh, you feel some type of way. Thank you very much. I just wanted to say good luck and enjoy your retirement. Thank you, Harrison. They're about to rob this bank. That looked like Karofsky from Glee. Uh, that other guy. Hair? That other. Same cut. Security. Same color. Sign here. I understand we're going to be missing you around here. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's been good working with you, sir. Thanks. He's a germaphobe. If you're gonna take over for old Fuss Bunch, you should probably stop flirting so shamelessly with your delivery guy. Really? Somebody call 911! Mr. Prentice! Mr. Prentice! Oh. Mr. Prentice! That did not go anywhere near what I thought it was. Karofsky! Right? That's him. I got it. Hey! Hey! Can you tell me what's happening? Don't know, sir. Just got here. Do you know what the call was? Two people down in the bank. Like dead down? Injured down? Well, my partner's in there. Was your partner exhibiting any kind of symptoms of anything? No. Does he have any allergies or medical conditions? No. He eats better than I do. He's, he's pescatarian. Sit tight. It's like I have a choice. Jaws not clenched, tongue is neutral. You said there's a second patient. What the hell? Same as the courier out front, exhibiting extreme muscle spasms. Cap, pupils are dilated. I don't know what we're looking at here. Could be a nerve agent. You've seen that before? Been trained for it. Symptoms all line up. I can't say for sure until we run some tests. All right, head, back away. In that hand sanitizer? Everybody stop what you're doing right now. Step away. Well, that other guy, he step shook his hand. Away. We are now preparing for a possible chemical exposure incident. That means nobody in, nobody out. Hand, 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 hand. Oh, shit. Mistake, I'm, I'm with LAFD. No! Hand, do you copy? I'm here, here. I'm making myself comfortable. How do we open this? Uh, we don't. It won't reopen until the start of business tomorrow. There is a number for the vault company on Mr. Prentice's desk. Show me. And how's the air in there? And do you copy? And do you copy? She's about to... Yes, sir. The EMTs have been here for a while. What the hell? Yes, sir. What I'm here. is it? What's happening? That a whole new squad of guys just showed up in like serious hazmat gear. Commander Boom, hazardous materials. Three victims down, all showing signs of possible chemical exposure. Third victim was here making a money delivery, likely the first effect. Could be he was delivering more than money. And the others? Still non symptomatic. I need gross decontamination stations set up. Clear but there's that other guy transport. from the beginning. And I need full environmental testing of the entire premises. Unless he's the one that passed While something. While sending a technician, they're also trying to open it remotely. What's the chances of that working? Uh, remote. The tech <laughs> machine should be here within hours. Not even a scratch. Two people, 72 breaths a minute. We need to drill into that vault and get some air flowing. Doors are wired, cab running hot. We need to cut the power. Oh, hang, on, hang, on, hang on one second. Hey! Hey! What's going on? I, I can't hear you. I got this thing on my head. The window does not roll down. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we're going dark. Chimney, hit it. They have to quarantine. We're through. Okay, Jim, power's back up. Buck, crank the O2. Yo, wide open, Cap. Okay, now what? Now we get in there. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna crack this safe. How?
I mean, damn, that's where I would want my shit. There ain't nobody getting in that safe. Hey, Bobby, everything okay? What do you know about bank vaults? Well, I put in a few. We take one down. Bobby, what's wrong? We got two sick people trapped inside the vault here in Pacific Federal in Westchester. And I don't have time to wait for a locksmith because one of them is head. I need the blueprints for this building. I gotta find a way inside. I don't have access to that kind of thing. We don't have time for that, Michael. I, I do know a guy that works in that office. Chuck. Yeah, likes me. Uh, I'll like him back. <laughs> Oh, God. I think Billy's dead. They just put Billy in an ambulance. I don't know. They're putting people through those showers. I didn't say plague. Though it could be, couldn't it? It could very well be a plague. Okay, yes, sir. I'll take a breath. Oh, I'm breathing. Should I be breathing? <laughs> I, I mean... fine. <laughs> okay, Bobby, I got it. That's funny. It wasn't always a bank. Housed a insurance company. Pacific Federal picked up the first floor in 73. So this vault wasn't always here? The south wall. It's original. And it looks like they just built the vault right into it. We start drilling here and here. Draining in crumple zones. Then what? Then I have an idea. But we gotta soften it up first. Let's do it. They keep showing that lady. I think there's something right, up with her. Start smashing this wall in. I need you back inside, eyes on the vault camp. We're compromising their safety. You gotta let me know. <laughs> All right, keep backing up. No balls. Call it. Time of death, 2142. Oh, shit. All right, I got eyes on the vault camp. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Which is it gonna do it, Cap? This is Captain Nash. Okay, thank you. Patient Zero, the armored car courier, just died at the hospital. They did say that no one else was exhibiting symptoms. I'll screw this. All right, Buck. No, stand back! You gotta be kidding me. Now they get remote access? <laughs> That's messed up. Hey, guys. Seriously? Hen! Can you hear me? <laughs> you hear me okay? I'm gonna check on him. Shouldn't they all be wearing masks around her? She doesn't appear to be symptomatic anymore. Bank manager was up and talking too. Chief Bowman said all his tests came back negative. No environmental toxins whatsoever. What the hell was it? At least this guy was finally able to get out of here. So that might be the weirdest day I've had since joining the LAFD. Allerge something. Step away from the vehicle. Can I help you, Detective? You and your people just stay where we can see you, Captain. Excuse me, you want to tell me what's going on? Maybe you can tell me. What the fuck? $300,000. Tucked away on the 118 ladder truck. Any idea how I got there? No, why would I? You're with the 118, and you were at the bank when it was stolen. If by at the bank you mean that I was unconscious and I was locked away in a vault, yeah. And I wasn't alone. I'm sorry, this is so embarrassing. The doctors say I'm fine. Still feeling the after effects? Do you have any idea what happened? The call came in a little after five. Report of two men experiencing seizures and vomiting. I dispatched an RA unit to the scene. Looks like our money trouble is over. That's the text your sister sent you right after she took the 911 call. You care to explain? Our landlord finally agreed to refund her security deposit. He been giving her some grief about it. Still nothing from the landlord? Not since he said he had to consult his lawyers. You expect us to believe you just happened to take this call to dispatch your brother squad to the scene? That happens it all happens the time. more than you think. <laughs> We're like a family. We take care of each other, we support each other. It was probably Karofsky. Conspire? Conspire. You conspired with your fiance's ex-husband to steal the blueprints to that bank. Not stolen. <laughs> you think they did what now? <laughs> terrorists. Don't think I ever said the word terrorist. But you were the first to suggest it might be a nerve agent. It's part of my training. How to spot it. How to respond. 
We had to improvise. You do that a lot? It's part of the when job. there's people Seems stuck in a fucking problem. vault, yeah, you improvise. X's new squeeze. The fuck? Is your friend? Hen is my friend. Bobby's a friend too. What the hell? They're all my friends. Someone said I seem stressed. Cranky. I said she was a little cranky that morning. Buck, you're lopsided. Jimmy said he didn't want us to make a big deal about his first day back. He didn't mean it. That's way too low. Maybe we should respect the guy's wish. We're hanging a banner, we're having cake, and we're gonna show him how much we love him. Love him. <laughs> I love her. Oh, there she is. Good as you. Don't tell me that, Marty. <laughs> State of the art ladder rig. So you replaced it? Yeah, I'll replace what matters. Thanks, Marty. Ah, this is festive. Need a hand? Well, I would ask you to blow up balloons. I mean, I know you got the wind. Tying it would be a thing, huh? Not gonna be a problem. Well, I'll be damned. Steroid shots kicking in, huh? I finally took my crazy sister's advice and went to see your acupuncture guy. That didn't work either, but he then recommended me to a kind of witch doctor. You won't believe what he put me on. Hey, y'all. I'm not too late, am I? You were right on time. Kind of a letdown, isn't it? Last time he had a cake in the shape of his head with a licorice rebar. This time he only got stabbed. Huh? I imagine it's hard. Your wife losing her job at JPL. They said they're sick of Mars. Who gets sick of going to a planet? Not me. You're the only person I know with a job cooler than mine. So I don't have a job. Mars is apparently a snooze fest. Funding is drying up everywhere. I'm worried. We just spent all that money on the new roof. We've got Denny's daycare. Kids in general are expensive, but they're worth it. Maybe I picked up a few extra shoes. These detectives are being s big ridiculous. Big it is a big deal. The private school, physical therapy, the after school program. I know what all that costs. It's under control. Don't worry. Okay, every time we talk about money, you tell me not to worry. Guess what? I worry. Don't. Ready? Oh. 300 grand does solve a lot of problems. I've got two full time jobs firefighter and dad. I don't have time to plan a robbery. Six weeks at home. Guy like you, you must have been climbing the walls. Sounds like you had a lot of time on your hands. To think, to plan. You mean to plot? Who did I plot with? No one on my team would do this. You moved here two, three years ago. Minnesota, right? Left there under a bit of a cloud. Truth is, don't go there. You don't know the people you work with, and they don't know you. I trust him. I trust his gut. When he said we needed to get into that vault, yeah, I believed him. Run into that vault, Firefighter Wilson, believing there was a nerve agent present. Why would you do that? It's my job. Or maybe you're providing a distraction. I don't know what happened. I did what the firefighter said. I thought he couldn't leave the truck. He said I was in danger. And look, I was scared. I did not know they were going to rob the truck. Wait, so the money came from the armored car? Not the vault. I was in the vault the whole time. You were the distraction. Getting everyone to look over there so no one's noticing the man emptying the armored car over here. What? I'm so confused. Can you start over? Sure about this? I'm sure about clearing my name. Your name's gonna clear itself. Is they have cameras? Yellow it's a bank, shoes. bro. I as a firefighter. Led the driver away from the armored truck. I'm sorry, we're closed. Oh, you're the firefighter who went back into the vault. How are you feeling? <laughs> like it never even happened. I wish I could say the same. It was her. We'll be closed for at least a week. Captain Nash went a little Hulk smash on the vault. He was really worried about you. Is your manager around? Mr. Prentice, um, he doesn't work here anymore. That was his last day. The day of the robbery was his last day? Was that a planned thing? Retirement. I feel bad. He was so close to making it out. He had a fear, a phobia of getting locked in the vault. I think that Florida kid was the last straw. He put him for retirement right after that. Maybe it's lucky you guys were unconscious. You don't remember being locked inside. Yeah! Would it be okay if I took a look in there? Follow me. Inventory protocols. We're moving all the boxes to another branch until the repairs are done. Hey, you okay? He was right here and I, and I ran in. Stay calm, stay calm, sir. Dana, what is it? Go ahead. Can't believe we missed that. Maybe we didn't miss anything. Firefighter Wilson's the one who found it. She didn't plan it. I was oh with her my the whole God. Time. Why were you revisiting the scene of the crime? So I could remember. He touched my face. That's how he delivered the toxins. Whatever, whatever that was. Maybe it's in the bottle. Wait, you're saying the bank manager was in on it? Did you know that was his last day? He put in for retirement right before Christmas. Yeah. Right after he saw this. You know how those firefighters got the kid out? Drilled a hole in the vault wall. They also had to cut the power just like we did. Check every single box in this room again. Box 725 is supposed to have six million dollars worth of diamonds in it, not the recycling. Franklin Prentice. Wow. LAPD, we need to ask you some more questions. He gone. Oh, I hate this case. 
Or he's dead? Looks like he was headed out. Out of the country, you mean? Any sign of the diamonds? Nothing about this case has been that easy. His accomplice probably killed him and took the stones. So where are they, Firefighter Wilson? Seriously? Are you kidding? Oh my god. Hurry it's it up. probably that dude that Anderson's said waiting outside. Your father congratulations. And I very busy day today. It's a surprise. Or Karofsky. Mom, what's going on? Friends from work. Off you go. Have a good day. Sergeant Grant, I'm awfully sorry. Let me see the warrant. First coffee's in the kitchen. Expecting us? I know the drill, detective. I assume you're hitting everyone at once. They gonna be expecting us too? You think I'd spoil your surprise? It ain't my party. Here we go, yo. It's the scenario. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> so yo. dumb. So I, so hey, yo, Bono Zip. And Bono Zip. Well, what do you know? The dead dog. Oh! And those things attack. But here's the real spot. And then some truck duck. Really? The condiments? Don't sweat what you heard. Later, later. Well, that's my entire life right there. You can't take that. Hey, you know how long it took me to get those color coded? I'm gonna need to check your car. Oh my god. They're tossing the apartment. So much for the security deposit. Calling a lawyer? I am ordering an Uber. I still have to work today. Let robbery homicide do their dance. You got to let the wheels of justice do their that, thing. This is so it's ridiculous. Weird. Those wheels have a way of sometimes crushing people, turning over every rock to look under. I got some rocks that I'd rather not have anyone peeking under, you know? I need to borrow Harry's computer. They confiscated mine. Probably in the same evidence lockup downtown as yours. They took his too? What are they thinking? He, he's robbing banks and playing Minecraft? Like father, like son. Tell me you didn't spend the better part of your day helping my fiance bust open a vault. We were trying to save him. <laughs> <sighs> What's the hospital? Bro. Hello. Yes, this is she. Place looks pretty good. Well, what, what happened? You, you you clean up after they left? Police were very careful. <laughs> you mean terrified? <laughs> <laughs> they got my tax report back. You'll never believe what they found. Scorpion venom. I feel robbed. How in the hell did you know that? It was in the hand sanitizer that you found in the vault. Scorpion Wait. venom. I know who did this. Scorpion venom. Him. Hey, Marty. Yeah, I heard you guys were having trouble with the ladder. Maybe you could show us some tricks. Yeah, you seem to know more about these trucks than we do. To hide three hundred thousand dollars in cash. Shut up. What are you guys talking about? How are your hands, Marty? That alternative medicine still working? Marty Collins, you're under arrest for bank robbery and murder. Murder? Who'd I kill? Shut Parker. up. He died from an allergic reaction to scorpion venom. That's what's in the bottle. In concentrated gel form. That's what you've been using to combat your arthritis. Totally had to Google this. An overdose of this stuff mimics the symptoms of a nerve agent. Creating chaos. That's right? legal to you get? get armored car driver away from his truck, right? Is that the guy? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's him. The fake nerve agent attack was a distraction for the armored car robbery which was a distraction for the diamond heist. Franklin knew the bank. But how'd they know each other? Ex-brothers-in-law. Franklin had been married to Marty's crazy sister. And when they ran into each other again, Franklin was the inside man. His job was to create a medical emergency in the bank, trigger a hazmat response, because Marty knew that we'd have to seal the perimeter to execute the Big Bird protocol. The money's fine. You're in danger! He gets the driver to leave the truck. While the driver gets clean, Marty gets rich. <laughs> How's he gonna get all that money out of there? Shut. Can't just walk it off the scene. Up. He needed a mule, a team of mules, us. Not a bad plan. Wow. I mean, it's crazy, but it could have worked. For the right moment, sneak in, retrieve the money. Except there wasn't any, because the police had already beaten him to the punch. But how'd the police know exactly where to find the money? Because there was one variable that Marty didn't count on, the double cross. Franklin knew about the bank. He knew what was in that vault. He could steal those diamonds with his eyes closed. He told Marty the best day to rob the armored car would be his last day. Start with Marty's plan, but then he'd improvise. Franklin made sure he collapsed inside the vault. He knew what our response would be. Then all he had to do was wait for the vault to automatically close, and he'd have hours alone inside that vault while we ran our rescue protocol. There was an unexpected complication. And me. He was supposed to be in there alone. He had to take me out, too. But now he's playing beat the clock. 
soon as the cameras couldn't see, Franklin swiped six million in stones. He had the stones, all he needed was a clean getaway. Yes, I have information on an armored car robbery. He sends the police. Ah. The he could flee the country, new life. He just wasn't fast enough. Marty knew he'd been double-crossed. Look, I can explain to you. Where are you going, Frank? Did, Did you double-cross me? No, I swear Did you double-cross me? So Marty killed Franklin. What? Damn I didn't kill it. nobody. What about the dead guard? Supposed to be non-lethal. I mean, that's why we used it. How was I supposed to know he was allergic? But I never touched Franklin. Well, that's manslaughter you then, at least, charged. right? You can make this easier on yourself. Just tell us. Where are the diamonds? Diamonds? What diamonds? Oh my god. You believe him? He admitted to everything but killing Franklin, stealing the diamonds. So where are they? Stomach contents, corn, some sort of grain, and some sort of foreign mass. Appears to be a diamond. He ate them? Why would you ever what are they think? On the death certificate? Oh, acute intestinal blockage. Oh my god. Uh, this episode is amazing. Chief, this is a surprise. Sorry to bother you at home. Uh, it's okay. Come on in. Chief Alonzo, this is Athena Grant, my fiance. Pleasure to meet you, man. Uh, I should go. I'd rather you stayed, if that's okay with you, Chief. There's no way to ease into this conversation. I tried to find one on the drive here. LAPD has referred a matter to us for further review based on some irregularities they found during their investigation. I thought the team was cleared. Team was. You weren't. I'm thinking why. Fine. You'll be on suspended duty pending a full inquiry. We have a lot of questions. You are relieved of your command, Captain Nash. Just one minute. Now. What reason are you relieving him of duty? Captain Nash lied to us. About what? About what happened in Minnesota. Oh shit, what? What do you mean? What's going on? Is he gonna be okay? What what did he lie about? That episode was so good. I love like a whodunit, a whodunit kind of thing, trying to figure it out. That I did not expect the mechanic, the truck mechanic dude whatsoever at all. I love it. I love it so, so, so much. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. Did you know? If this is your first time watching it, did you figure it out? Or did they get you? See you on the next one.